All right, so we're just going to go ahead and do the reassembly process. I've got the two pistons out of two different types of calipers here, just to remind you that this one is the one with the pressed in, they call it, and it's got the steel backing ring, and it fits into a groove on the piston there. Light, slightly different groove on that piston. This is the captured one that is a flexible one, and it's got a slightly different groove on the piston there. Uh, the reason for that is when you're going to go ahead and install this one, you're going to slide this down over here to start the process, and you're going to make sure that the lip drops into this groove right here. I'll show you what I mean by that when I do this. I'll slide it down in there until it just drops in all the way around. Okay, so that's dropped in. We would then pull this boot back, again, this pressed in one back like, like that, then roll it down on itself, and at that point, we'd be ready to install that piston into the pressed in style caliper. I'm going to continue on that one in a little bit, but first I'm going to go over to this captured one. The captured one, I have to put the boot into the caliper first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and it fits with, because there's no metal backing ring, there's an extra lip right there, and it fits into a groove in the caliper. So I've gone ahead, you can see I've put the quad ring or the square cut o-ring into the caliper. Um, I've lubricated it already. Uh, again, guys, please be careful whenever you're putting an o-ring in in any case Make sure there's no twists or rolls in it. Make sure it's in the groove properly And again, we clean the groove to make sure that it's it's okay So now I'm going to drop this particular one. I might have to turn this around just this get this into the Groove properly and again, it's really imperative that you do get it all the way in there I just have to turn it around to do this 